ladies and gentlemen good day and welcome to balrampur chini mills limited earnings conference call as a reminder all participant lines will be in listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after presentation concludes should you need assistance during the conference call please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone please note that this conference is being recorded I now hand the conference over to Ms Jenny Rose from CDR India. Thank you and over to you. Good afternoon everyone and thank you for joining us on Balrampur Chini Mills Q4 and FY23 results conference call. We have with us today Mr Vivek Saraghi, Chairman and Managing Director, Ms Avantika Saraghi, Business Lead and Mr Pramod Patwari, Chief Financial Officer of the company. we will initiate the call with opening remarks from the management following which we will have the forum open for a question and answer session before we begin i would like to point out that some statements made in today's call may be forward looking in nature and a disclaimer to this effect has been included in the results presentation shared with you earlier i would now like to invite mr saragi to make his opening remarks over to you mr saragi Yeah, thank you and good afternoon everyone and thank you for joining us on the Q4 FY23 call of our earnings. I trust all of you had the opportunity to go through the results presentation providing details of our operation and financial performance. I will initiate the call with an update on the current developments in the sugar sector followed by our company's key highlights for the period under review. Isma has lowered lower its projections for overall production during the 2223 season from 34 million to 32.8 million this factors in about a 4 million diversion from sugar to ethanol the crushing season in maharashtra concluded with a production about 10.5 uh this was against 12.1 which was projected earlier primarily due to lower yields in contrast up production from what could be 106 10.5 10. 10. to 10.6 karnataka is estimated at 5.7 as compared to 6.2 so in in a nutshell up has gone up about 5 5% to 10.2 to 3 to 4% up has gone up and the rest have come down furthermore sugar mills have almost completed the export quota of 6 million and i believe it's been shipped out from not only the mills but also majorly out of the ports from us how much could have left the ports maybe 5 from the port yeah so it's basically evacuated and given the drop in production the government is focused on ensuring adequate domestic supply obviously based on the production consumption and export numbers we will have a closing stock about 6 million tons and hence there is no probability of any further export this also means that there is a very fine balance of demand and supply which is positive for the pricing it should keep pricing in firm state on the ethanol front india is making progress in blending ethanol with petrol and the target of uh, towards the target of achieving 20% blending ethanol supply to omc is rising to 434 crores in 2021 to meet the 20% target the government is promoting production of ethanol from maize crops as well but that seems to be a little far off the target is to reach 12% blending in 2223 which is in current season 15% in 2324 and going up to 20% thereafter this would require a capacity or 20% would require a capacity of 1700 crore liters the auto industry is adapting with fuel flex fuel vehicles and e20 ethanol pumps have been launched in more than 100 outlets also the uh, auto companies have started from from 1st april all the vehicles should be able to take e20 so they also sort of been able to reengineer or you know enable the engines to adopt e20 from 1st april Ethanol production has also benefited the sugar industry and the farmers. 
on the business front com company concluded the year on a positive note on account of steady contributions on sugar and distillery segment despite a moderate performance in the nine preceding months due to lower pricing volume in the previous years the company witnessed an improvement in q4 23 primarily owing to enhanced ethanol capacity utilization across segments uh, capacity utilization during the quarter cane crushing was higher due to increase cane area and improved yield at the farm level so if i can brief we have crushed 10.3 crore quintals of cane against 8.88 and that is an increase of about 50% over last year our recovery approximately uh, is almost final last year was 11.46 47 on a blended level of cav and this year we would be about 11.62 on it so that is an improvement of about 15 bits with a increase in percentage of 15% so both have gone up and this as you are aware the last two years were ruined because of excess rain in very short periods of time coming to distillery business capacities are now being optimally used we are confident in our ability to reach the target of 34 to 35 crore uh, liters of alcohol production additionally the company is embarked on a project to increase cane crushing at its kundi unit from 8000 to 10000 tcd which will be financed through internal approvals and which would be commissioned prior to cane crushing in the next year the company has allocated uh, allocated more than 1100 crores towards capex in fy23 out of which 466 crores has been raised to debt financing while remaining funds have been sourced to into internal approvals these strategic investments will enable us to drive growth in future in conclusion the company is dedicated to generating value for all the stakeholders through prudent investment and capital allocation strategies keeping this in mind an interim dividend of 2 and a half rupees per share was paid during the year additionally we commenced our sixth consecutive buyback of equity shares on 16 november and we bought back a total of 22.9 lakh shares the buyback is open till 15th may but the it's beyond the permitted price this brings me to the end of my discussion I would request Avantika to provide you an update on the progress on the cane front. Yes, Avantika. Uh, good afternoon, and thank you, everyone, for joining the call. Uh, I'd like to give you a short overview of the cane activities. Uh, our cane plantation is almost complete for the year. Uh, the total area under cane has again increased by an additional seven to nine percent for the upcoming year. This shows a further hike in cane availability in the season to come. Uh, area of the heat ridden and degenerating CO zero to three is reducing drastically every year. We stood at around 75% crush just two years ago, and in the year gone by, we have already come down to 46% crush, and by the next year, we will drop to only a 27% crush. Of this, two three eight. Of zero two three eight. Yeah, not of total. Uh, this is uh, not. This will not only improve the recovery to the tune of its reduction, but also the incidence of disease will reduce. Fastness of it, and it will also make it easier to identify and salvage the disease sort thereafter. The area of zero two three eight, which has been reduced, has been taken over by higher recovery varieties like CO zero one one eight, which we had only around four five percent of two years ago, and this year we have crushed approximately twenty percent of it, and uh, it will increase by a further thirteen percent uh, for the upcoming year, putting us at a total of thirty three percent for the upcoming year. This variety has proven its superior recovery and good yields in the factories, which have crushed a higher percentage of it this year. Other than this, new and higher recovery varieties, which we have, uh, which we crushed a negligible amount of this year, have also increased to the tune of 8% crush for next year. Therefore, in a nutshell, we are again set up for an even higher crush and an even higher recovery in the upcoming season. Other than this, we have uh, faced a lot of climatic disruption. and we have worked very very hard on mitigating any sort of climate risk be it high temperatures drought flood heavy winds etc 
we have worked and will continue to work on climate smart agriculture to shield ourselves from any drastic changes uh, uh, which can occur for cane quantity and quality year on year. Another sphere which has really picked up is raccoon management. Credit to our cane staff, but now our farmers have really adopted this idea of working on raccoon crops, which was never a practice in East UP. This will also help total crash and recovery. Uh, we have also done cane, uh, cane payments at a consistent 8 to 10 days post supply basis, which uh, is even before it becomes due at a 14 day uh, according to the government norm. This has created immense goodwill at the farmer level and it helps us motivate them to plant good varieties and do all necessary agri practices in order to keep the crops lush and healthy. Lastly, programs like tissue culture and seed nursery are on and going well. Uh, this will ensure long term healthy cane supply. Um, that's it for the cane front. Thanks a lot. Should we so start? Basically, yeah. Sorry, sir, please go ahead. So, uh, yeah, so basically that was a, a rundown on the cane front. And now I'd request Pramod for some remarks and then we can go with you. Thank you and good afternoon, everyone. I, uh, I hope all of you had the opportunity to go through the presentation that has been shared, wherein all the financial and quantitative data have been given. To ensure that we have a larger portion of time for q and session, I would request the moderator to open the forum. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. We have a first question from the line of Rajesh Mazumdar from PNK Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, sir, and uh, congratulations on a good number. Uh, I had a question on the ethanol supply program of the government. Uh, if we look at it, that we are talking about 600 crore liters this ethanol year 2023, of which you said about 518 crore tenders have already been finalized. Now, why is the offtake so poor till 23rd April only 220 crore liters have been delivered? Uh, I wanted the answer to that. And secondly, even if you look at our own ethanol sales for the quarter, it is about two crore uh, short of the of the production, which has never happened before. So, is there any uh, uh, any worry on that that our ethanol sales, though we are targeting 34, 35 crores, may actually be far shorter because of the lower crop this year? That was my first question. Ramon. So there were, uh, oil marketing companies came out with 600 crores of uh, ethanol requirement for the 22-23 ethanol year. Subsequently, there was a revision in the cycle. They reduced the period from 12 months to 11 months. So on that basis, on 12% blending, the consumption requirement would be around 500 crores liter. For 11 months. For 11 months. Oh. And they are trying to build up a storage for around 50 to 60 crores liter. So against 550 to 560, I believe 518 has already been contracted. This is the position as of now. now as far as Balrampur changing is concerned, so there was some delay in start as well as stabilization of distilleries. So that, that as a result of which the production was on the lower side. But if you see the inventory number of ethanol, alcohol, as of 31st March, we are holding 2.27 crore liter against last year's number of around 60 lakh liters. So some dispatches had happened in the last week of March. And as you must be knowing that the ethanol are, uh, revenues are accounted for only on delivered cost basis. So there was in transit, ethanol was in transit around 50 to 50 lakh liters. So you are saying effective stock is one and a half crores. In addition to that, there was slow there were, uh, ah, also. Good. So uh, just to add to what Pramod said, so oil marketing companies need a steady stream of supply for the year. So some stocking will happen at our end, marginally higher than last year, so that in the weak months of July, August, September, when most people don't produce, we will produce, there will be adequate availability of ethanol then in the last quarter where people usually fail. 
and out of this uh, uh, 500 and 13 uh, it's possible to know our market share in the tender our sorry our share our tender quantity our tender quantity in that 513 crores so our our tender quantity is 26 pound crores liter okay sir. and this we hope to complete by ethanol year 22 23 correct yeah be, before november before Thank you. I'll join back in the queue. Thank you. We have our next question from the line of Shailesh Kanani from Centrum Broking. Please go ahead. Uh, thanks for the opportunity, sir. Uh, so I had a couple of questions. Uh, first, uh, on uh, margin front. So uh, uh, Vivixel has always been guiding that uh, our margins on juice roots are similar to what we have in B heavy bonuses. Uh, but uh, somehow this this quarter around there has been a sharp falling, and I believe that this Prime uh, uh, Kanani, I'm sorry, you're sounding much. Yeah, I'm breaking. Yeah. Is it better? Yeah. So uh, my my question was with this with respect to margins on the distillery front, uh, sir. You have been that juice root has similar margins as. I'm sorry, sir. You're not able to hear you. No, you're not audible. Uh, I'll just one minute. I'll just one minute. This is better reception. In the mobile. Thank you. We have our next question from the line of Pratik Tholia from Systematics. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, sir. Hi, and thanks for the opportunity. This is a quick clarification. Uh, in fourth quarter, we sold 4.3 kilometers. A ethanol from syrup and grain root. Can you split this between uh, how much is syrup and how much is grain? Or it was 100% syrup. 100% syrup. 100% syrup. Okay, thanks. And sir, have we, have we exported any sugar in fourth quarter, or we have uh, sold our entire, uh, you know, the quota to Maharashtra? Yes, sir. No, I think he's talking about export quota. Export. Yeah, yeah, sugar export. Yeah, out of 1.98 lakh tons of quota allocated to us, 1.4 lakh ton was met through physical exports, and the balance was swapped against the domestic sales. Right. So, so there's no uh, sale of uh, physical sale in fourth quarter, right? Uh, physical export yeah, in fourth quarter. For us, there is physical there is physical sale of export in the fourth quarter. So between 31st of March, we have completed the export. Entire 1.4 lakh tons. Okay. And the uh, uh, the quantity that you've got against the uh, swapping of quota, that uh, has not yet been allocated. Or that will come from me onwards. No, no, that has already been allocated. It started from November itself. So it will run from November to maybe I don't recall the exact exact month. Maybe May, June, July. Okay, because your uh, sale uh, actually your uh, the if I see Y O Y your domestic uh, quota has been largely flat. Yeah, you are right. Uh, particularly in the month of March, the demand as well as the prices were subdued. Sorry, I missed the last part. Demand was subdued. Subdued. Okay. Okay. And sir, uh, just lastly, uh, you know, a broader question uh, because we are expanding our crushing capacity also from uh, 8,000 TCG to 10,000 TCG as one of the plants. Uh, and you know, there are other industry players also who seem to be expanding capacities. Uh, but you know, uh, I mean, just a uh, you know maybe three-year horizon. How do you see the availability of raw material? Of course, uh, Madam just pointed out that you are doing a lot of work in terms of increasing the yields and all. But uh, you know, with overall industry also expanding, and then there are also also this uh, weather-related challenges we've always been facing, whether it is weak monsoon or excess monsoon or red drought, etc. Uh, do you think the you know raw material availability with this expanded capacity, not just for us for the industry as a whole, will it be you know steady state supply, or there could be you know uh, challenges going forward in terms of availability of uh, cane, and maybe you know three four years down the line. we don't uh, see a challenge in cane availability uh, you know uh, in to the tune of the capacity that uh, we create we will always uh, in my mind receive cane without a issue so let me bifurcate your concerns into three parts 
वन यू आर टॉकिंग ऑफ अदर्स एक्सपेंडिंग सो केम अवेलेबिलिटी इन आर जियोग्राफिक एरिया इज यू नो इज प्रिवी टू द एक्सपेंशन गन इन आवर एरिया सो नो बट इन आर एरिया इज एक्सपेंडिंग कॉस्ट टू यू स्पोक ऑफ एल डी नो सो एल डी इज टू बी स्पेशली एंड यू नो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग माई नेक अ बिट ऑन दिस वन बट डोंट होल्ड मी टू इट लिट इज लोअर रेनफॉल इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर अस and if there is if the later part of the year doesn't have rainfall we will be delighted if september onwards we don't get rain so el nino doesn't concern us so much expansion have answered or a crushing capacity increase which you just pointed out and as avantika has said we'll have enough kin so we yeah, if you know that to hazard our guess for the next year we hope to be 10% higher in terms of kin crushing The recovery can't be predicted, but we are looking to be definitely higher on recovery also, based on Avantika's presentation of varietal change and disease management. Got it. Got it. Uh, that's very helpful. Uh, yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you, and wish you all the very best, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We have our next question from the line of Sanjay Manyal from ICICI Direct. Please go ahead. <laughs> uh hi sir uh, have few questions uh, one is uh, uh, what i understand your uh, uh, domestic quota was somewhere around 8.26 lakh tons for the full year uh, whereas uh, uh, your total sales is uh, uh, 9.03 which includes 1.4 lakh tons of exports so have you foregone some uh, uh, domestic quota uh, in the financial year or maybe in this quarter yes yes as i was mentioning earlier the prices were subdued domestic prices were subdued in the march quarter so there was no lower sale so this would be uh, means uh, to the tune of uh, 50 60000 tons or uh... uh, and yeah. the exact data we don't have but promo is giving you the answer that at absolutely depressed prices we decided to forego a bit of sale which will come back okay. later okay okay on this question and uh, uh, on if you can just uh, repeat uh, what is the uh, what is the uh, co zero to create uh, uh, percentage in uh, in the in the crushing this year and the expected uh, next year i i missed that data 46% was crushed in the year gone by and we expect only 27% in the next year and i'm thinking that 27% which we are looking to crush will be much better at the year Because the disease is spread less due to the sparseness of the seed. Okay, so so next year 27 would be zero uh, zero uh, to three eight, and thirty three percent would be one one eight. So which would be the other uh, varieties which you are using? So so we are looking at some very high yielding varieties like fifteen zero two three. And and what? And fourteen. Yeah, uh, there are some uh, varieties which are. uh sort of only meant for low land so it's a combination of that okay, okay. around 8% of higher recovery varieties right. in totality you can say super higher recovery yeah i'm not i'm not wanting to bite the cake among okay yeah. cool so 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 okay thank you thank you very much thank you thank you we have our next question from the line of kaustuk pawaskar from sher khan by bnp pariba please go ahead yeah good afternoon sir thanks for giving me the opportunity uh, so my uh, question uh, is regarding the uh, sugar uh, you know production uh, for the next year then considering uh, you know the higher uh, yield varieties and good recovery rate uh, what kind of expectations are in terms of production for Uh, uh you know upcoming season and uh, season after that so are you talking for balrampur or for the country for for balrampur for balrampur yeah so as we indicated to you next year we are uh, definitely looking at 10% higher whether not playing to one super to one and uh, maybe another 7 to 8% higher thereafter so our, okay. our capacity just to give everyone a flavor of our business protocol division between you know be heavy juice sugar crushing our assets on the ground today are sufficient and would need about 12 crores for 100% sweating 
and we hope to get that. Let's say you 10:30 this year, you're looking at 10% more, so 11:30, 40 next year, and thereafter easily 12. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, and so my second question is on the working capital. So this year, uh, obviously, because of the higher inventory, uh, the working capital requirement comes on a higher side. But in in one of your slides in the presentation, as uh, the distillery uh, contribution goes up, uh, the working capital requirement will also, uh, you know, moderate. So in that context, should we expect uh, the working capital days to come down uh, uh, over the next two to three years? Yeah, you are absolutely right. The reason behind working capital utilization burnt up this time because of the deployment of internal approvals into the capex. Had there been no capex, we could have seen the working capital utilization lower by 500 crores at least. Oh, As we move okay. up, there will be lower working capital utilization. Thanks. Thanks. And uh, so one last one on the international, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, plant. Uh, so uh, in April, uh, the Brazil production has gone by around 42 uh, odd percent. This is what I've read uh, in the media. Uh, so should we expect, you know, uh, the international supply to go up considering the fact that uh, the uh, the dilution towards the uh, ethanol is a little bit on a lower side because of the drop in the crude prices. So in that context, should we expect uh, supply to be a little bit higher on the international trend and will it have any impact on, uh, you know, uh, sugar prices or sugar realization costs? So, uh, my request would be, don't go by this every fortnight release of data. Brazil's production already expected is around 37 to 38 million tons for the upcoming sugar season. That has already been factored in the prevailing international prices, as well as the overall demand, supply, or sugar availability at the global level. Basically, uh, you need to see Indian prices. The more relevant data is India's inventory, India's upcoming production, with an understanding that export as and when permitted, should sell at a healthy price. All three of these boxes are ticking and ringing very loudly today. So, as Pramod said, we don't need to look at any other data in case you're looking to track Indian sugar prices. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the understanding and all the best for your future. Thank you. We okay. have a next question from the line of Shailesh Kanani from Centrum Broking. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, so, so my question was with respect to margins from juice root vis-a-vis -vis B heavy molasses. We have been guiding that the margins would be on the similar trend uh, between juice root and B heavy. And uh, somehow this quarter the margins have taken a fall because of uh, juice root uh, sales basically. So, uh, can we share some uh, views on that and also guidance going ahead for the distillery division? So we will not like to share the segment-wise guidance as far as the profitability is concerned. But the profitability or the margin out of juice is definitely lower than the BAB. This is what we have seen in whatever period yeah. we have discussed. But uh, as we go ahead, this uh, margin will improve a bit because we are first here with the heavy. We, you know, tried various chemicals, combinations. Towards the end, we got the result. And we hope the uh, margins ratio will definitely improve. Okay, but uh, the fall in margins seems to be very steep. That is the reason I was wondering if juice may um, uh, margins are very less or if if you no, 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 no. see these capacities are yet to be fully used. utilized. Fully utilized. So that is also one of the reasons. Some fixed over yeah. plant stabilization. Stabilize. There were some issues with respect to stabilization also. It takes some time for a brand new thing. So you your concern or don't worry, Utna Mat Soche, Utna Margin Karani. Okay. You will uh, see next year that they will be like touching each other, close to each other. 
Okay, so my related question because of that was that correct me if I am wrong. So we are not in a catch catch twenty two situation wherein uh, we are facing margin pressure under juice route vis a vis B heavy, and if we don't take juice route, our volumes would not give a healthy jump as we are expecting. So that is not the situation, right? No, uh, that that's not the situation. Okay. So this quarter can be taken as an. Uh, having said that, Shailesh, having said yeah. that, at the current juice-based ethanol prices, mm. margin, that is low. It margin is, is lower than B A B. But you've got to understand that all three things need to be done in order for the country to holistically move forward. And you, we, we definitely will improve from this year. But as Pramod says, you cannot expect the same margin maybe. So I'm just giving you another scenario. In four years from now, let's say sugar production becomes excess, and the global markets take a downfall. You will find that these two divisions are giving you the best return. So you you are hedging yourself into all three based on a government program which needs the industry participation in order to fructify. Yes, as Pramod said, it will be lower, but it will definitely make up from here. Pramod, the gap will narrow. As we have seen in the last uh, one month of working. So, so sorry to stress on this, but uh, can we give a credit basis in that case if we are not uh, comfortable with the don't don't give guidance on the margin or whatever. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Sir, I missed one part of uh, the call. Uh, uh, can you share the sugar volume and realization breakup in between domestic and export for the quarter? I think that is that has already been shared in the presentation. Okay, I'll just go through it then. Uh, yes. So one more question: uh, We have seen a timing difference in uh, ethanol uptake for the fourth quarter. So uh, in light of that, uh, do we revise our 35, 34, 35 crores of guidance no, for no. ethanol volume for the next year? Uh, is that so as of now? We, crores, as of yeah. now, as of now, we look to supply 34 to 35 crores for FY24. But as the season progresses, we will update you. But there, there is no big uh, sort of gap one is looking at. Okay. Sir, so if I can squeeze in one last question. Uh, sir, we, I'm seeing some stock of syrup as well mentioned in the presentation. Uh, and I was under the impression that syrup perfectly can't be stored. So uh, if you can just share some light on that. It's a work in progress. It's, well, it's rotation. So distillery, when you begin, you get feed in five days. So it's that which is rotating within the machines. Okay, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. I'll come back in queue. And one more thing. This yes, year sir. we began a little late because some of our expansions sort of got completed 15 days late owing to supply. And uh, there was a lot of water in two, three factories. So next year, hopefully with this ending of production, we should be able to begin an average of 10 days earlier for the whole company. So that itself will increase your ethanol supply. Fair enough. Yep. Best of luck, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good Thank you. We have a next question from the line of Nishant Sharma from Nuwama Wealth Research. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, sir. Uh, so my question is again related to margin. Just wanted to understand, uh, uh, while distillery segment is the highest uh, graphing margin, uh, this time around we have uh, seen one of uh, kind of events which impacted the margin. But in terms of sugar uh, sales in domestic and uh, in international uh, uh, international market, where we would generally get uh, better margins, uh, or maybe if you can help us understand where international prices need to be certain percentage higher to be uh, equal in domestic, uh, getting margins same in each, uh, domestic as well as international market. See, you need to evaluate the performance of the company, of the sugar company, on a company level basis, number one, and on an annual basis. March quarter will always be the best quarter because of the uh, fact that we get complete 92 days of production and the fixed overheads, fixed overheads get allocated or spread over a larger volume of production. This segment wise profitability is a function of transfer. Okay. If I want to assign a lower value yeah. of Agath and Molasses, my you profitability see. will jump up in a distillery division. 
अंडरस्टूड सर फॉर डिस्टिलरी एंड शुगर सेगमेंट आई गॉट इट आई वॉज आस्किंग फॉर अ स्प्रेड बिटवीन इंटरनेशनल इंटरनेशनल मार्केट इफ यू सेल शुगर इन इंटरनेशनल मार्केट एंड इफ यू सेल शुगर इन डोमेस्टिक मार्केट सो वॉट इज दी आई मीन प्राइज डिफरेंशियल दैट वुड बी नीडेड फॉर हैविंग अ सिमिलर मार्जिन सो दैट इज आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड द सेल्स So this is irrelevant at this point in time. We are selling sugar at around 36 and half rupees per kg in the domestic market, as against the international prices of say around 51 rupees per kg. But nobody in the country has any quota to export sugar, and that is the reason that these prices are running so high in the international market. Uh, okay, I'll uh, I'll just switch to the other question. So my next question is that uh, we have mentioned some maybe. Uh, of duty in the distillery segment uh, on uh, the nasis uh, what is that levy of about 7 crore uh, close to 7 crore is it one off or it's a regular one it's uh, uh, a regular one the government of up keeps imposing new fees which one has no control over we also want to court again this but with no success here. Okay, but does such things happens every year, or uh, this is more like uh, uh, changes in the rates happens every year? No, not every year, but you know this. It was introduced last year. Uh, this was. So this is as a percentage of something we can build in our uh, going forward. We can build in because possibly this this might have also impacted our margins. I know it has impacted, but we agitated very hard. We don't. Hope that such nonsense should repeat itself. But the draw of this is difficult. Uh, okay, if last question I can squeeze in uh, on the distillery side, uh, is there any cyclicity uh, for using whether we use bee heavy molasses or sugar syrup or grain based, like in quarter one or quarter two? Quarterly seasonality is there, uh, sir? No, it's all. It didn't get your question. So basically, in terms of uh, uh, manuf- uh, manufacturing or producing ethanol, uh, we use different uh, uh, raw, uh, raw material or the input side. So we use bee heavy molasses, we use sugar syrup, and now we have a, a capacity for grain based as well. So we will be seeing any uh, cyclicity by using this input, or uh, uh, this can be done any given point of time. I mean, it could be interchangeable any any cut off. so there are some dis- there is only one distillery which is uh, compatible for making grain that's the mezapur one in season it will run on syrup full off season it will run on grain the rest we have some uh, you know be- the rest are all be heavy ones one is cav for country liquor but yes they are interchangeable in terms of be can run on c juice can run on b but nobody can run on grain outside of mezapur Okay, sir. I have a few more questions. I'll call back into you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a next question from the line of Rajesh Mazumdar from BNK Securities. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Thanks for the opportunity again. So, I had a question on the capex in the sugar mills. Uh, what is the uh, kind of output increase we envisage, or do we envisage at all from the uh, modernization uh, that we have uh, done at the sugar mills level? I'm just talking about the sugar capex, not the distillery capex. Mm. No, so what we are going to get is higher cane availability and lesser losses, and uh, you know old plant safety breakdowns, etc. So if you just to explain to you, east and west are two different zones. West UP farmers have no problem if you run up to middle of May, they don't reduce cane. If you do that in east UP, they will reduce cane. So we have got into a higher capacity. Now this will enable us to crush what we need to go to 12 crores by April end. So that will keep the recovery good, losses less, durability of supply on a longer basis. So it will have an impact on the recovery, whatever little does. Yes, Is it definitely positive recovery impact by uh, uh, not getting into the May month and lower losses. I was just wondering basically because the the capex is pretty significant. So what kind of a like kind of return we want to see on that kind of investment we made in this company uh, on the sugar side? Yeah. 
Yeah, let me explain to you the rationale behind these big investments. So these were old plants, and they needed to the milling tandems, etc., needed to be changed for durability and for uh, uh, higher efficiency and safety. With that, we added juice into Balnapur. So it's a well thought out measure. Obviously, such investments don't yield return in one year. But I am very certain over the next two to three years, we should have our investment in the bank. Three years from now. Three years for the uh, uh, Beyond now. So, total four, four, four years. Okay, okay, that's helpful. And so, uh, one question I had, like, uh, if we see, uh, we have seen an impact in the sugar crop this year due to Maharashtra. If we see a continued impact this year, El Nino, whatever, if it happens, is there a chance of the ethanol program getting derailed a little bit in the sense of the government procurement reducing, in which case our we will not be able to meet our targets? I didn't get your question. So the question is, uh, we had already seen a sugar production fall this year. If we see in sugar year 23, 24 also some kind of El Nino impact on the crop from wherever, Will we see a derailment of the uh, blending program on the government reducing its... Let's yeah. get okay. the sequence very clear. Okay. If you produce below 280, you have a problem. Okay? Then okay. when you... Your ethanol diversion and your production is net of the diversion. No. So this year, even a bad year, you produced almost 330 lakh quintals. Your gross was 370. So if right. next year your gross is even 300, they are encouraging it. Now your exports will not be allowed to that extent. Domestic production, net of exports, no, sorry, domestic production, net of ethanol should be equal to what is required for consumption. The program never gets derailed. And I don't think that's even in the horizon anywhere. So the government will use export tool more uh, as a kind of balancing factor, is what you're saying. So can I explain to you, if you hear me properly, please? Production is net of ethanol, no? What this figure you've seen, 30 lakh tons, is net of ethanol, no? Correct. Right. So obviously the production is recorded net of ethanol. So net of ethanol production has to be about 28. Yes. 20 lakh tons. Correct? Yes. So that is your sugar availability for to feed the country. If that is over and above 280 and your closing stock is 6 million, export will be allowed. Okay. Got it. Got it. Thanks. Thanks. Sir. Thank, you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last question for today. I now hand the conference over to management for closing comments. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much. I hope we have been able to answer all your questions satisfactorily. Should you need any further clarification or would like to know more about us, please feel free to contact us. I once again thank you for taking the time to join us on this call. On behalf of Balrampur Chini Mills, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.